October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and recently there's been some new data that's promising for cancer patients. And here with more details is De Dr. Dennis Slayman, with the Director of Clinical Research at UCLA, along with breast cancer patient Jamil Rivers. Welcome to the show. Now, doctor, can you tell us why this data is so important? Well, the data are important because it shows that there has been a significant improvement in survival in patients with metastatic breast cancer, a particular subtype called hormone receptor positive HER2 negative. And that constitutes about uh, three quarters of all of breast cancer. So it's the largest uh, proportion of the breast cancer population. And this oral drug has been shown to improve survival in that group in the metastatic setting, which is something that really hasn't been easy to achieve in the past. Now, Jamil, how has been living with MBC affected your, the quality of your life just day to day? Um, well, it has been challenging um, when you're living with metastatic breast cancer, you know, everything kind of centers around that. So there's a lot of emphasis with just keeping up with my treatments and it, there's a lot of focus and emphasis on just making sure that um, I'm doing everything that's required to take care of myself and trying to incorporate that with having a sense of normalcy with my family and work. Um, but I can also say that living with NBC makes me appreciate the moments more with my children and my family and, you know, just being able to um, take it day by day. Definitely. Now, what have the advancements in the treatment kind of meant to you and, and to the community in general? Um, well, I think um, I'm a living example of, you know, um, taking these new treatments and being able to not be chained to the hospital bed in a sense, um, where I'm able to still uh, work full time and keep up with my three children and have a kind of sense of normalcy. Um, and the quality of life is better than a lot of the more toxic treatments that were available in the past where now I can just take a pill and still navigate and function and live an active life like I normally do. Doctor, can you talk about any risks that might be involved with the treatment? Yes, the drug has some side effects and um, they are not the same type of side effects you see with chemotherapy. There is a decrease in the white count that occurs with the drug, but it doesn't go as low as you see with chemotherapy, nor does it stay down as long. Uh, there's also sometimes fatigue associated with the drug. Uh, we look for some electrocardiographic changes in a small percentage of patients where that may be a challenge, but otherwise it's usually very well tolerated. It's an oral pill taken daily, um, and it uh, is something that is different than the other approaches we've used in the past for hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer. Thank you so much, Doctor. Can you remind our viewers where they could go for more information? Yeah, uh, for this particular trial, you can look under kiskali.com, that's spelled K-I-S-Q-A-L-I.com, and I think it talks about the results of this trial, as well as the results with this class of inhibitors called CDK46 inhibitors. Thank you so much, and of course, you can always find this information on our website, firstcoastliving.net.